Jackson Holiday. Those are the only two words that matter right now. Not Fenway Park. No offense, Red Sox Nation. I love you and I love this place. But Jackson Holiday, number one prospect in all of baseball, making his major league debut tonight with the Baltimore Orioles. So I am here to catch his first major league home run. And really any home run, but really Jackson's first home run. And if I do, I will offer him the ball, so don't worry about that. Uh, I'm here nice and early. The weather is a bit iffy, but it looks good right now, so I'm hoping the teams take batting practice. I'll be running around trying to catch baseballs, but really, it's all about Jackson Holiday. So here we go. And here we are inside the stadium with Red Sox batting practice underway. And right here on the left, that's Jason Varitek. He played 15 seasons for the Sox, and now he's a catching coach. And that's Kenley Jansen. Red Sox closer, and I think a future Hall of Famer. What do you guys think? Anyway, this player circled in red, chucked a baseball to me, and I have no idea who that was, but it's always great to get the first one of the day, and you can see right here just how happy I was. On the board! So here's another look at Kenley getting some work in in the bullpen, and by the way, this was my 39th lifetime game at Fenway Park, and not so fun fact, as we see Yoshida up there taking his cuts, I have never snagged a foul ball during a game at this stadium. I've gotten three home run balls, but never a foul ball. So someday that's definitely on my to-do list. And speaking of home runs, as you see me scampering around the seats a little bit, trying to get into position, you will soon realize just how bad my luck was with home runs at this game. Not a whole lot of action during batting practice, but spoiler alert, there was a whole lot more action for me the next day, and look at this shirt that I was wearing. Go to my website, take a look at my merch, and, you know, pick something up for yourself. Right here, you're going to see a player in right center fail to make a play, and this reminds me of a funny request for baseballs that a fellow ball hawk used to make. Whenever he saw a player mishandle one in BP, he would shout, Hey, that's a bad ball right there. You don't want that one. And I don't think it ever worked, but it still amuses me. And you can see how things went from here. Well, the Red Sox hit like absolute crap today. I spent almost all of their BP in right field and a grand total of zero home runs reached the seat. So that was extremely disappointing. There was one ground rule double hit by a righty that skipped up over the bullpens. I happened to be putting on some chapstick at that instant. So I missed my chance to snag that one. So I can blame myself there, but yeah, this was really tough. Always fun to be in this ballpark. It is just glorious. And so for right now, Red Sox are gone, Orioles are just taking the field. I got that one baseball, so I've avoided the shutout. And of course, what really matters is, what were those two words I said at the start? Oh right, Jackson Holiday. So I'm gonna switch into my Orioles cap here in just a sec and see if I can snag a few more. Anthony Santander, hooking it up. What up, Cuz? I just can't stay away. I, I mean, I heard Jackson, and I had to be Slow going again so far with Orioles BP, and just look how crowded it is out here in right field. So 
there are a bunch of lefties hitting, so you'd think that this would be the place to camp out, but just not feeling it. Everything seems like it's going my way. The home runs are plentiful. Baseballs are raining down all over the place. And then there are days like today where I could not catch a break. I was inside the stadium for five, count them, five groups of batting practice. Two from the Red Sox, three from the Orioles. And there was not one home run that landed in the seats within about a hundred feet of me. I don't know what was going on, if it was the cold weather, but it just wasn't happening today. Now, thankfully, I did get a couple of toss-ups, so, you know, on the board with a crooked number. And it's a shame that I did not get more than two baseballs. I always want as many as possible, but given what I'm about to tell you, you'll see why putting up big numbers would be extra meaningful. As many of you know, since 2009, I have been helping to raise money for a children's charity called Pitch In for Baseball and Softball. They basically provide equipment for kids all over the country and all over the world to help kids play ball. And once again this year, I'm doing another fundraiser to help raise money for this charity. So basically, you're gonna wanna check the description because you'll find a link to the fundraiser there. But basically, every baseball that I catch is raising money for the charity thanks to you guys who will hopefully pledge money per ball that adds up over the course of the season. Now you can pledge as little as one penny per ball. And if I catch about 300 balls this year, which I hope will happen, that would be like a $3 donation. But for anybody that donates 10 cents or more per ball, you will be eligible to win some really cool prizes. One of them is an A2K glove from Wilson. And yes, if you're left-handed, we got you covered that way as well. Also Birdman Bats is a really cool company that will make a bat for you. You tell them the length, they'll put your name on it. So that's one of the prizes and some signed stuff as well. So again, check the description for a link for the fundraiser and everything you donate is for a great cause, again, to help kids out there play ball. So consider donating. And I hope that Jackson Holiday donates a game home run in my direction in right field. For right now, about half an hour, 40 minutes till the game starts, I wanna go all the way around the stadium and get as close to him as possible when he takes the field to get warmed up for the game. So let's head that way. I might not have caught a lot of balls in BP, but I just got one of them signed by the man, Jackson Holiday. And you can see this baseball right here 
It is a beauty. Unfortunately, it got a little bit smudged when I was trying to get it out from underneath the protective netting. It was a tight squeeze, but man, this thing is a beauty. I'm thinking what to do with it. Do I keep it? Do I give it away? Maybe give me a few innings to think about it. Jackson is batting ninth, and this game is starting in about six minutes. I gotta hustle back to right field, so... Wow. Let's go, Crawford! coming down here in the early going, so a little unpleasant out here in right field. And the Orioles, meanwhile, are going down in order. Two innings in a row, six up, six down. So bottom of the second inning right now, we're scoreless. And next inning, he'll be batting third. And I'm still thinking about that ball I got signed. So uh, I'll come up with a decision after he hits. in his first big league at bat, Jackson Holiday struck out. And we held the camera there for a moment before showing the play at second base, Colton Kowser with the steal. And so what I've determined is that Jackson Holiday is a scrub. He's gonna be a nobody. His career batting average is zero. Get out of here with that. I'm totally joking, but I've decided that I am going to give away this baseball that I have protected in some napkins. So again, Here's the autograph, Jackson Holiday, on the day of his big league debut. Now you may have already seen the Insta post announcing the giveaway. I'll explain at the end of this video exactly what you need to do to win it. So make sure you watch till the very end, and this baseball could be yours right now, top of the fourth inning, Sox are up, one nothing. That was Tristan Casas with a home run opposite field on top of the green monster to put the Sox on top 5-0, but the Orioles chipping away. They're coming back. They're now down 5-2 here in the top of the sixth. And I'm going to shut up because Jackson Holiday is coming to bat. <laughs> So not quite the home run that I was looking for, but that was Jackson's first big league RBI. How about that on a ground out? So Orioles getting closer. They're now down 5-3. 
How about Jordan Westberg with the big hit so far tonight? A three run shot over the monster to put the O's on top seven to five. And unfortunately, Jackson is 0 for 4, and he just made the last out of the seven. So they basically got to get through the entire lineup in the next two innings if he's going to come up again. And I mean, the dude is 20 years old and looks like he's about 14. I don't even understand how he's so good, but just great to be here tonight. Wishing him all the best, and we'll see if he comes up one more time. Sup? always try to get footage of every baseball that I snag, but I failed in the middle of the eighth inning tonight. So let me just say that this baseball right here was tossed by that guy in the bullpen, a coach named Tim Cousins, who's been extremely friendly and generous with me. And you know who else is really cool? Craig Kimbrell, the new closer for the Orioles, who has had such an impressive career. I always love watching him pitch, and he was on fire here tonight in the bottom of the ninth. He struck out the first two batters and looked totally dominant. And then he got Jaron Duran to ground out weakly to end it. And man, what a comeback for the Orioles. They had been trailing five to nothing and they came back with seven unanswered runs. And I mean, that's the kind of thing that a championship ball club does. And I'm excited to see how good they're gonna end up being this season. And of course, I'm thinking the same thing about Mr. Jackson Holiday. Now, unfortunately, the young phenom took an offer tonight. He did not end up getting a chance to hit in the ninth inning, but he's gonna be great. I guarantee you there is a reason that he was the number one overall pick in the draft just two years ago out of high school. I mean, think about Yoshinobu Yamamoto. I saw him get shelled in his major league debut in South Korea, and he's had a couple of immaculate starts since then. So Holiday will be a stud. Speaking of which, let's show the lovely people of YouTube one more time this here baseball because I'm giving it away and here's how you can win it. Number one, you have to be subscribed to me here on YouTube. Hopefully you already are and if you're not, get with the program. Number two, like this video and number three, leave a comment and I suggest that in your comment you mention the ball because if you're just like, you know, hey great video Zach or you're a bum because you didn't catch Jackson's home run, well, I don't really know that you want this thing, so I won't pick you. But yes, I will pick someone, send the baseball for free. Good luck, it might be you, and you're welcome in advance. So this ball was one of three that I snagged today. A little more money for pitching for baseball. Make sure you check the description for a link to the fundraiser. Donate some money, win some prizes. The three baseballs, well, that brings my lifetime total to 12,400 and 45! You got that, Boston? Yeah. So that's about it. Final score, seven to five, Orioles. What a game. What a beautiful sport. What a beautiful stadium. Not really a beautiful night, a little cold and rainy. I'm gonna shut up now anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching.